Okay, this is John's attempt at a SSG self runner replication of Rick Friedrich's uh, video that you saw a couple of weeks ago. Um, we've got the rotor, it's uh, about an 18 inch wheel with 20 magnets on it north, south, north, south, north, south, all the way around. Got a triple stack, you can see the three layers of tape there that holds them on and silicon and glue and everything so they don't become little missiles. Um, we've got the main SSG coil down there which is uh, pretty thick, some pretty thick wire on, on that guy and then up the top we've got our, um, our recovery coil there which is feeding down to this bridge rectifier um, the pulsing comes off this, this relay setup we've got going here so when we fire it up you'll, you'll see that one working um, that left battery there is my secondary charge battery. Okay, it's cutting, currently sitting at about 12.6 volts. This battery on the top here is my primary battery underneath the meter here. Uh, the battery on the bottom is just holding it up, it's not doing anything. And we've got a couple of meters here. The meter on the left is measuring the, the voltage over the primary battery, currently sitting at 12.88. And this meter here is measuring the AC off that bridge rectifier connected straight to the AC and that's on the 750 volt AC scale so what we're going to do is uh, turn this on It'll be a bit hard here connect this wire up here okay and this meter here too is measuring the current draw off the primary okay Alright, I'm going to give it a spin. Okay, Just straight away. So we're drawing about two and a half amps. We have this little seven amp hour battery, which is a bit small. And you can see that when it pulses, drops back to just over a couple of amps. Now, let's go over here to see the AC on the bridge rectifier. Watch what happens here as it comes up the speed. And about 23, 24, 25. And it gets quicker and quicker. It's nearly up the speed. See it starts jumping all over the place. Coming out 29, see, see it, 400, 1500, 130 odd, back down to 7. You see, once it gets right up to speed, it just starts jumping all over the place. Okay. And then into overload situation. You can also see the meter on the left is um, jumping all over the place as well. Not sure if it's charging at the moment. What I've got going here is I've got this this one reed switch here, which is, a, which is uh, getting triggered off a magnet that's on the wheel, going through to our relay circuit here oh, maybe you can see those sparks there okay. you can see the contact on the right is the pulse coming out of the AC uh, the bridge rectifier and the left is uh, cutting the power to the, from the primary battery I don't know, it's a bit hard to see those sparks there I don't know if the video is going to pick these up or not. Okay, let's get them back to this amp meter. You can see now we're fully up to speed, we're nearly nearly pulling 3 amps, which is way too much for this tiny little battery. But watch what happens here. What I'm going to try and do is I've got another read switch here. Okay, so at the moment I'm going to. Right there. 
Now what you can see happen is the amp's got. Starts here. A bit out of focus. You can see gathering intensity. And now I'm pulsing twice per revolution. We can look at the meter over here. Going nuts all over the place as well. This meter here is also jumping all over the place, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay. And we're going to get another close up of these sparks again. I'm actually moving this second reed switch out a little bit around to try and get the timing just right. And then start. back to the one again. Okay. Now I've got the, the coil that's driving this relay, if you follow these white wires down, is actually connecting to my charging battery. So I'm actually pulling power off the, off the battery on charging here. Okay. Get back here. Back here it's still all over the place but not as much as it is. I'll connect this up again. Okay. okay, the only thing we want to show you as well is I'm just gonna Take this meter off and put it over the uh, the other charge battery. Put it in there. Uh, I've got it back to front. Back over that charge battery again. You see that one is charging as well. And that 13 and a half. Even though I'm pulling the um, Okay. There it is. This wheel follows being a, you know, around about 300 kilometers an hour. Okay, we'll just put a quick look at the circuit, which I haven't even soldered up properly yet. So we've got the three transistors, one, two, three. All connected up, just like the, uh, the circuit should be. Okay, and that big battery there is providing me ballast so the whole thing doesn't tip over. Pretty poorly constructed frame. Okay, that's it. Thank you.